Now Pete, we're excited to be here today. I hear that you have a very interesting garden, a fringe garden. Now can you tell me about that? A fringe garden is a rather interesting term that's been given to my garden by some people. It's a garden that doesn't have typical planning, straight, straight edges, weeded garden beds. I don't have weeds in my garden, but as you can see, I've got lots of growth, lots of plants are simply coming up in there and really I just simply thin out what I, I want, what I don't want in those gardens rather than particularly having a groomed finish. So Peter, so you're really pushing the boundaries of what a garden is. Your yeah. philosophy on gardening is? And, and, in, and in doing that, it's having a garden that is more natural and it's also making habitat creating habitat and the important bits of habitat are going to be the weeds, the grasses, the shrubbery, the sticks, the, the litter on the, the leaf litter and so on on the ground. So you wanted a garden that was seamless, a seamless transition from the Australian bushland into your inner sanctum which I noticed you have solar panels out there so you're really after this natural lifestyle. Tell me about your lifestyle here. So in in doing that, it's, I guess I'm simply just embellishing my immediate patch of bush and I look at the whole block here as being garden, but around this area here I've planted a few extras for interest and so on. Uh, as far as lifestyle goes, well I have sol all solar power, solar hot water, wood stove, um, and it's, yeah, try to just to just touch fairly lightly. Yeah. So take me back to when you were actually buying this property. Because as we were coming through, I noticed that we're actually built on a road bay, a, a road quarry. Tell me about what were your thoughts when you first bought this, this block of land? My thoughts? Perfect. In to, what to, way? Perfect. It was um, two-thirds of the place has been taken out for gravel. As you can see, there's a lot of... Um, areas that are cut down a bit deeper to what the, the natural soil level is. Um, so they've taken off the metre or so of gr nice gravelly topsoil, which has left a pretty hard clay sort of, uh, base underneath there. And you know, over 30, 40 years that's regenerating quite quite well. Um, where, the, where the garden is is in natural soil, so the plants here are growing in a red gravel over clay, which gives the plants both good drainage, plus with the clay there's that moisture reservoir deep down, which I'm finding is ideal for all sorts of um, plants that would be difficult to grow elsewhere. Now I noticed out there you have some Eremophilus, and obviously we had the Eremophila group here before. Can you tell us something about Eremophilus? What do we need to know about Eremophilus? Er Eremophilus are a genus of Australian native plant that grow particularly well in heavy clay soils rather than red gravelly soils as I have here. I've got some like um, Eremophila splendens for example that are doing well here. Others that we know require heavy soils really they're surviving but they're not doing particularly well in, in this soil here. And I notice that you have some exotics here so you're not frightened to put exotic plants in? No, not at all. I mean, the plants I'm going to grow are plants that survive here on one hand and plants that aren't going to become weeds here or, but I'm happy to have things that will self seed in, in moderation and yeah, so basically some of, some of the plants here have effectively relocated themselves to a, to a more suitable site to what I, I, where I first planted them.